Never mix. Never worry. Here you are. Up, up, mommy. It's time for my gynecological exam. Oh, well, there's something you don't hear every day. I think I'm going to send a letter to my med school alumni magazine. Tips for how to give a gynecological exam to your dead son. You're... Why are you drinking? Hmm? You just got out of rehab. Oh, when Brittany started drinking, it took her kids away. Maybe I could be so lucky. Oh. Are we down in the dumps tonight? Hmm? Poor mommy. Give me back my drink. No. I don't think so. You shouldn't be drinking. Oh, oh I see. I see my dead son is both a man and a woman and is pregnant. And not only pregnant, but his father is the father of his baby. And if I don't do everything that he tells me to do, he has threatened to kill everyone in harmony. Now, why would anyone want to reach for a drink in a situation like that. You got any ideas? Oh, poor Vicky. So worried for you, sweetie. I mean, everywhere you look, it's death and destruction. I mean, even I'm having trouble keeping it straight. There's Fox and Catboy, Cop and Santa, and then, and then Alistair and Rebecca. Although I have to say, frankly, I am not convinced that our murderer is the same person who tried to stick a knife in old Rebecca. I mean, from what I've heard, half the town would stand in line to take a stab at her. Oh, and honey, if we weren't in freeloader heaven, I would really try to get you out of here. You know, I don't want to add any more scars to your already tortured soul. <laughs> hey, Julian. <clears throat> I have to uh, talk to you about something. I'm listening. These attacks have taken quite a toll on your family. Would you risk your life to capture the killer? sleeping, but yes, I'm fine. Why do you ask? Why do I ask? Fancy, you completely lost it tonight. What? You really don't remember all those horrible things you did? Uh, what things? Oh, Fancy, you were... Uh, you were horrible to Aunt Sheridan, Louise, God, even Marty. You were really cruel. And then, to top it all off, you tried to seduce Noah. What? <sighs> no, no, I, I, I wouldn't do that. Hey, uh, Fancy, sorry to barge in on you. Uh, we gotta talk. Me first, you bitch. All right, you guys know the deal? Show these pictures everywhere, starting with the hotels and restaurants. What if no one recognizes them? Someone will. People remember beautiful faces, and Laura and Teresa are beautiful. If you don't have any luck at the hotels and restaurants, start working the street. Remember to mention that woman's name, Juanita Vasquez. But be careful, because if she's as powerful as everyone says she is, we're running right into trouble, guys. This better work. We gotta find them. Well, Juanita kills them both. Let's go. Don't you think this is overkill? Be prepared. That has been my motto since the slaughter of my family. 
never served me well. Now let's find Pilar and Teresa. Both of those women are destined to die tonight. Teresa! There are sharks in the water, mija! Teresa! with the hooch. You need to be at your best when you examine me. Why? I can watch a horror movie, drunk or sober. Really? You know, most doctors would give their eye teeth to take a gander at what I've got packed away. And besides, this is your grandchild we're talking about. <laughs> My grandchild? So is that what we're calling the little freak? <laughs> no, I don't like that word. Well, you're going to have to get used to it because once this all gets out, your little kid is going to have to put up with a lot worse names than that. <sighs> oh, my grandchild, is that even an accurate description? I mean, oh, I suppose it is because you're my son or my daughter depending on which way the wind blows, then your child would be my grandchild. But on the other hand, your child is going to be your sibling. So maybe that means I should call it my child, or, or at least my half-child. This is so simple for Julian because it's very clear he's a father and he's a grandfather. And I think we should drink to that. Oh, God only knows how this baby's going to be related to Whitney and Simone. Silly mommy. You know, I was confused at first, too, until I worked it all out. I'll explain it very carefully so that we all can be on the same page. That'll be helpful, won't it? Oh, no, maybe we should just forget it. And what is this poor child gonna call me? Nana, mommy? What we have to hope for more than anything is that the truth never comes out. Because if it does, all my plans will be ruined. Yeah, oh, what plans? But to kill everybody in town? Don't be so dramatic. Look, as long as you do exactly as I tell you, Daddy and everyone in harmony will live. Are you willing to help too? Not to catch the murder of my son. I'll do whatever it takes. Good. Because I have a plan. A plan I believe will lure the killer out in the open so we can arrest him. Now, if we play this just right, no one else will be hurt. What? I'm at your disposal. The most important thing is that we keep this quiet. If the killer finds out we're gunning for him, it could backfire. And? And what, I could die? To be blunt, yes. It's interesting. I suppose it's better than having a heart attack in bed at 80 with some avaricious girl. I'm in. In what? What are you two up to? 
nasty, vicious, backstabbing. I know, I know. You already called me a bitch. What is wrong with you? I think she's having memory problems because she says she doesn't remember anything. No, I didn't say that. Oh, my head. Um, it, it's coming back to me. Sort of. Uh, what have I done? We used to be friends. Or at least I thought we were. What is your problem? Are you trying to destroy my whole family like your grandfather? Is this some sort of sick vendetta? No, Paloma, I am so sorry. I, I don't know why I did any of those things. You hurt me. You hurt Louise. You hurt Marty. What is wrong with you? I think I know. Naturally. You never understand anything, do you, you uneducated fool? The device is working perfectly. I'll ruin your life, Fancy. And then, Luis will be mine. Hey, hey, listen, uh, the man at the taxi stand, he recognized Pilar, but he doesn't remember what taxi she got into. Hell. Uh, the front desk clerk of a hotel said Teresa was staying there, but apparently she left and hasn't been seen since. Same thing happened to you guys when you mentioned Juanini's name that happened to me? Yeah, everyone shuts up and doesn't say a word, right? Yeah, yeah. They're terrified of her. Yeah, evidently she's got this whole town in her grip. Where, where do we start? Well, forget the harbor. We caught them there once. It'd be stupid to go back. We'll start at the bus station. No. Call the bus station, the train station, the airport, and the police. Shut them all down and have all the roads blocked in and out of town. Pilar and Teresa will not escape this time. Teresa! Teresa, can you hear me? Get in the boat, Mia! Get in the boat, Teresa! Get in the boat. Oh, God. Oh, God, she's safe. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, Hurry, Hurry. We don't have much time. Hurry. Okay. I made it. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get this boat to the wharf and get Mama. Okay. And we're safe. You know, I'm involved. I've decided. Um, uh, Vicky, uh, why don't you go talk to the chef and ask him to get you a nice bowl of cherry vanilla ice cream, okay? And um, get one for your auntie Esme while you're at it. What? Yeah, I know. Fats and sugars. <laughs> your auntie is very upset, obviously. So go ahead and um, do that before I change my mind, okay? I was just telling Julian that I have a plan to capture the killer. Oh, finally. I have to tell you, Sam, I barely look up when I hear the thud of a dead body hitting the floor nowadays. It's very unsettling. So, um, what's the plan? Well, it's risky, but, uh, we're gonna use Julian as bait to bring the murder out of hiding. My Julian? Gorgeous, rich, elderly Julian? Uh, yes, me for the last time. I'm really not... No, Sam! I... You can't do that. I mean... I... Julian could be killed. Fox's killer must be caught. It's a risk I'm willing to take. If I don't, this killing will just go on and on. Um, I know it sounds crazy, but I don't have very clear memories of what happened. I would please accept my deepest apologies. Yeah. Right. Oh, come on, Paloma. She's trying to make things right. It's a little too late for that. And you? Locked in her arms again? Oh, that wasn't even my fault. Don't right? start with that fast-talking flim-flam now, no. I don't want to hear it. Oh, Paloma, I don't know why I end up in bed with Fancy. Oh. It must be magic. Come on, Paloma. Just give me a chance. I love you, okay? You got a funny way of showing it. I don't understand you. Earlier today, we were making plans for our wedding. 
And then I find you in Fancy's arms again. I thought that she broke up with you because you're such a liar. But now I know that both of you are liars. How can I believe anything you tell me? Hey. Hey. Any luck at all? No. I'm a lot more scared. There's a church down the road with a funeral for four scheduled, all victims of Juanita, all members of the same family. Oh, my God. Yeah. Hey, all right, good news. I just talked to a drunk. But that's good. That is good news, because they always make the best witnesses. Are you kidding me? Hey, this guy was drunk enough to talk about Juanita. All right, that's good. Yeah, yeah, I gave the guy some money, and he was telling me where we could find her house until his friend shut him up and hustled him off. But her house is in a neighborhood that way. All right, well, let's go. Maybe Mama and Teresa are being held hostage. The bus station. The train station. Nada. And no one's flying up for your instructions. They have no one down there who fits the description of the woman. They must be here somewhere. But where? Rocking. Oh, oh my God! Oh my God! The sharks! The sharks! I gotta get out of here! Oh my God! Oh my God! She fell! The sharks! Oh my God! Oh my baby! Oh my God! Underpants and lift your legs. I'm going in. Stop making jokes. This is important to me. To boldly go where no man has gone before. Oh, God. It's right. Julian's been down here. It's not funny. None of this is funny. Vincent, I mean, honestly, can you just dress up like Valerie when you're gonna have a checkup because it's very disconcerting to do a, a gynecological exam on a man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Mommy, uh, I, I've heard stories. Is, uh, is childbirth really as painful as everyone says it is? Oh. Well... Apart from surgery without anesthesia, it is the most excruciating and severe pain any woman will ever experience. Of course, I don't know about you, but since you're both a man and a woman, it can be twice as bad. Oh. But, but, but you can give me a, a spinal, right? That, that's what they give women to dull the, the pain? Well, normally, yes. But since your body is so one of a kind, I, well, to give you a spinal might do harm, and I can't do harm to a patient. I took an oath. So, so it'll have to be uh, a natural childbirth. I can do that. It's okay. If it's what's right for the baby. Oh, mommy. Oh, I can't wait until baby starts developing a mind of its own. Oh, it's gonna be so much fun. Vincent, Valerie, and the baby at the park, at Little League, at parents' night at school. Oh. Yes, and baby taking Valerie and Vincent to school for show and tell on Halloween. Yeah, I'm sick of your attitude tonight. 
Will you just hurry up and finish the exam? I've seen everything I need to see. All right. Well, how's the baby? The baby's gonna be okay, right? Is there something you're not telling me? Mommy, is there something wrong with baby? Mama, I know I've said Then save this. your breath. I don't want to hear it. Okay. Oh, come on, everyone. Isn't there enough grief in the world that all of us don't have to add to it? I mean, look at Fancy. She looks like something the cat dragged in. It, obviously, she's sick. Right? She doesn't know what she's doing. Just give her a chance to explain. Explain what? Every time I turn around, she has her tongue down Noah's throat and her hands all over the man I love. Is that true? Paloma, do you still love me? Let's not worry about the sharks, okay? We really need to go. Can you swim? Okay, look, I got the boat as close as I could to the war, but we need to get wet to get to get into it, okay? Okay. 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 This has got to be the place. This whole villa's deserted. There was something went down here. There's still half full cups of coffee in the guard station. This whole town is crazy. The woman out on the street said all transportation out is shut down. Yeah, but where are Mama and Teresa? Wait, look. Look at this. This is Teresa's watch. Oh, my God, you're right. It is. Mama gave her this for graduation present. They've been here. Yeah, but great. Where are they now? Sand all over the floor. Someone's been to the beach. I don't remember seeing a beach nearby, though. There is a wharf, though. You're right. There's sand at the wharf, isn't there? Come on, let's go. Where have you been? Asking questions just like you told me to. Well, you took your sweet time. Did you find out anything? Uh, no one's seen them. But well, something strange has happened. What? There are men in town looking for them, showing their photos all over. What men? Who could they be? I don't know. Well, we'll deal with them when we have to. Right now, we must find Pilar and Teresa. Well, where could they be? It's as if they vanished. They're not at the airport, the bus no, station. Oh, I know. No one is brave enough to hide them from you. They must be out somewhere in the open. But you, you said that would be the last place they would be. Do not contradict me if you wish to live to an old age. But perhaps they are smarter than I thought and they return to the harbor to fool me. Let's go. Oh, my God, the sharks. No, don't worry about the sharks, okay? It's too close. They're not going to come here. Oh, my God. Oh, God, you're right. Oh, Mama. Oh, 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 oh. It's oh, not oh, oh, oh. working. Keep trying, Teresa. Keep trying, Mija. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's okay, Mom. Please make it start, Mija. We're both going to die, Teresa. Second. What? Looks like there's someone in that little boat out there. Oh my god, it's Teresa. Are Are you Teresa! Mom Teresa! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Okay, did you hear something? I could 
like somebody's calling your name. Oh, God, Mama, I hope not, because that would mean Juanita knows where we are. We need to get this boat down to the shipping lanes. We need to flag somebody down, Mama. We're safe, okay? I promise you, we are safe. <laughs> now, let's go. Okay. Anything? I hear a motor. Look. You and your daughter are about to be fish food. Tell me. Baby isn't going to die, is it? We're all born in pain, and we all die. But no, Valerie and the baby look perfectly healthy as far as I can see. <sighs> oh, wonderful. Oh, Mommy, I really think I was born for motherhood. Now, why don't you look happy? You know, you seem somewhat rational tonight, so maybe you will be receptive to some plain speaking. No, I am not happy. I mean, let's just not even talk about your whole criminal history with murders, and rape and arson? Let's just talk about baby for a minute. Mom, you, you're, you're scaring me. Well, good. You need some shaking up. What do you think about this baby? His, his life is just going to be sorrow and shame. No, no. Think, Vincent. Now, when everyone thought Chad and Whitney's baby was a product of incest, the, the whispering started and the finger pointing and it was all over the media in just a couple of days. And your part, Crane, it's the same thing is going to happen to you except it's going to be so much worse because when they find out the details of the baby's parentage that Julian's father and the grandfather and the one who's gonna suffer the most is the poor child that's in your womb. No. No one will ever learn the truth. I'll protect baby, you watch me. And no one's ever gonna learn that Julian impregnated his own son. They'll all think that he had another bastard baby and that Valerie is the mother. Well, Julian has to believe that too. He can never learn the truth. Do you really think the plan's gonna work, Sam? It has to. Well, if we all work together on this, I think it will work. Uh, I have to, to go see about something. I'll check the two of you later. I'll make the final arrangements, okay? No, no, I don't want you all to stay safe until we, we do this, all right? Good night. Okay. Now, you're sure you're okay with this part of the plan? Okay, your life could be in danger, too. Yeah, well, I feel like my life's been in danger since Fox was killed. But I can't really worry about that. I can handle it. I mean, I know you think I'm immature and everything, but I've been growing up a lot lately. I mean, I hate it, but girls gotta do what a girl's gotta do. <laughs> and protecting Vicky is my responsibility, and catching the killer is the best way to ensure that Vicky's safe. <laughs> Mama, it's not too late for us if you admit you still love me. You do, don't you? And I love you. No, I... Let me put it this way. I could never love anyone who keeps getting caught with another woman. Oh. I really can't explain my actions, Paloma, but I'm sorry. And you too, Noah. I don't know what came over me. I do. Mama, I haven't lied to you. When you caught me on the wharf with Fancy, I was trying to fend her off. I mean, think about it. It just doesn't make any sense. 
Right? Why would I go running back to fancy when I'm so happy about marrying you? you? Think about Harmony, all the crazy things that happen here. Here we go again. The devil made me do it. I think not. How about the blonde slut made me do it? Marry me? Why would I marry you, Noah? I hate you. I hate you. I'm scared. Molly, it's going to be okay, okay? Just uh, pretend like we're fishing. Okay? Teresa! Teresa! Mama! Mama! We can't hear us over the no, sound of the outboard. We gotta hear us. Teresa, over here! Mama! Mama, it's Miguel! Back to shore! What is that racket? I'm getting fishermen, I think. You ruined my concentration. See your prayers, Pilar. things while I can. Well, I thought she said everything was okay. I want to get a few samples and send some swabs to the lab, okay? Just hold on a minute. Just take a second. <sighs> oh, what the hell am I doing here? Will Eve even talk to me? Last time we were together, she said she was through with me forever. Maybe she's Gain some clarity from Rhea. Ouch! You didn't say it was gonna hurt. Shut up, or I'll give you a prostate exam as well. Be done in just a minute. I don't even know why I bothered coming here. You two are made for each other. You're both liars and backstabbers. Paloma, I am not like that. Tell that to Luis and to Marty. Won't you at least listen to my apology? I don't have to listen to it. I already have it memorized. And you? How could my brother get mixed up with such a selfish witch like you? It's just beyond me. Isn't that a pity? Luis will never forgive Fancy for hurting his sister like this. And I can use that to my advantage. I wonder if it's too soon to start planning my wedding to Luis. I think the shot came from over there. I can't see a damn thing. Can't either. Here, whoever it is is blocked by those fishing nets. Here, give me those. I'm gonna figure out a way to warm them on, Teresa. They must have heard the shot, too. They're taking cover. Mama! Mama! Get out of here! Drop Go! It! Oh! Ah! Oh my god! It's another shot! Oh my god! Juanita's aim is getting better, mija. Okay, okay, you know what? There's an island over there. If I can get the boat on the other side of the island, they won't see us, Mom. Okay. Missed okay. again. I am well aware of that, you idiot. They're getting away. Oh, no, they're not. Get it. Are you sure? The rocket launcher. Never question my own. Aren't you glad we held that hat from our last ship into Afghanistan? Teresa, get out of there! Move it! Fast! Is that tough shot? Shut up. Goodbye, Pilar. You and your daughter are going to hell. Once I pull this trigger, we'll be blasted to kingdom come. Uh, that tickles. Could you move that 
stuff out of the way. It's unnecessary to see that for a gynecological exam. Steve? That's Julian. No, Daddy can't see me like this. If he does, I'll have to kill him. No, no, Vincent, you can't. You'll see, Vicky. Everything is going to be just fine. Yeah, she's right. Okay, we're going to do everything we can to catch the killer. See what I told you? And Chief Bennett is the best. Every time there is a murder in Harmony, Chief Bennett catches the killer and puts him in jail. Right, Chief? Well, we... Right, try Chief? To... Right. Now, you ladies be careful, and I'll let you know if there's any progress. Thank you, Sam. What do you say, Vicky? Thank you. <laughs> Now, this is one little girl who needs her beauty sleep. So what do you say we go upstairs and I'll uh, get one of the maids to tuck you in? Okay? Come on. Good night. Good night. Yes, yeah, Chief Bennett. Are we all set up for the trap? Excellent. It's all going according to plan. Well, Julian, I hope you know what you're doing. This killer is a monster. Mom, please don't be like this. I wish I could give you a satisfactory explanation for what happened, but I don't have one. I, I would do anything to take it all back. You're going to regret this fancy crane. You know what my mama says? You reap what you sow. And you've been doing nothing but sowing heartache and pain for everyone. It's going to come back to you tenfold. But I can barely remember what happened. Oh, Fancy, is that true? Of course it is. Well, whatever happened, you have to believe my apology, Paloma. I don't. Over and over again, I find you and Fancy making love, making out. How stupid do you think I am? But what about all the odd things that have been happening? Save this... your breath. I don't want to hear it. And both of you go to hell. No, I don't understand. What, what's happening to me? What am I turning into? Anything I want you to, sweetie. Oh, we almost got the island, Mika. We're almost there, Mom. I need you to hold on, okay? And stay down. Teresa, go! I have to take the rocking off the boat into account. I know. Oh, my God, Teresa, no! Uh, Teresa? I did it for you, my love. 